Hey everyone, welcome back and happy Monday. Okay guys, so we're back to talk about Tom Schwartz who is slamming the hell out of Ariana Maddox based off of what I think, based off of me watching this, listening to this and dissecting it. But I want to hear your thoughts. I always want to hear your thoughts. And I always like kind of bouncing things off of you because sometimes you guys pop off in the comments and you give me a new perspective and I'm like, oh shit, I didn't think about it like that. And I think that that's fair. Sometimes I do need to think about it like that. You guys get what I'm saying. So before we jump in, you know how this works. If you haven't already, go ahead, smash that like button. If you're not subscribed, get subscribed. Don't forget to hit that notification bell and um, let's jump right in. Okay, guys. So Tom Schwartz and Ariana. Now, we know that we just watched this past week um, where Tom told Ariana, you're not the queen of this group. And I'm shocked, literally taken aback by watching a lot of the fan feedback going after Ariana for her success and everything that she has going on on the show. I think that like her in this fame and these opportunities would they have happened had she not have been on a reality show? Maybe. But she's the first one to tell you, I think that this reality show gave me a platform to do other things. She's not hiding that. So then what are you so angry about? I think he's angry because he's living in that apartment with 500 plants. And she um, will not be. But wait, here we go. Now... Thank you to Reality Blurb. Tom Schwartz has no regrets when it comes to ego-checking Ariana on the latest episode of Vanderpump Rules. After butting heads with Ariana, this was during his efforts to mend the divide between the group, he took aim at her egotistical diva behavior as he recalled what he described as one of her lower moments. And Tom Sandoval suggested that the behavior was reminiscent of what he dealt with throughout their nine-year relationship. You guys sound like idiots. They sound stupid, and I hate stupid's a bad word. Sorry, let me rephrase that. You sound ignorant. I'm going to say why you sound ignorant. You're saying that she has this diva behavior. You literally sat there and lied to the girl's face. Yes, get over it. She is getting over it, but you lied to her face for over seven months while you were housing this affair behind her back and then pretending like you were one of her best friends while coming over to her house and be like, hey, Ariana, like, give me a hug. What are you doing? How are you? Blah, blah, blah. She felt safe with you. And now she doesn't like your ass. And instead of being like, oh, okay, understanding why she doesn't like you, the first thing that you're going to attack is the success of her. And then for Tom Sandoval, you're sitting there deflecting because you don't know any other pattern or way of being but deflecting because you don't take responsibility for shit. And what you're doing is now claiming that she was like that. Now you see what I had to put up with through nine years. Nobody forced you to be in that relationship for nine years. And a few years ago, when you had the opportunity before buying a house to get out of it, you could have got out of it. You had no problem getting out of it with Kristen Doty. I'm sure Kristen Doty was not your first relationship. So you can maneuver out of it. You can't, if you're blaming the show, then you're blaming yourself essentially because the show is not making you stay in a relationship with Ariana. If you're saying we were a power couple, so then, okay, you got your socks off on presenting your relationship to the world in one way, but really knowing that you're at home suffering. Girl, please. I'm not buying any of that. It was very important for me to go to individuals and speak to them one-on-one -on -one and present them with this idea about going on a trip because I knew if I did it in a group setting, especially with Ariana present, that it was going to turn into a dumpster fire. Then after Sandoval compared the reaction to a public stoning, Tom Schwartz agreed. That's kind of what happened. She started going in on me and belittling me. And honestly, I think it was one of her lower moments. First of all, you're not my queen. I was annoyed that she took it upon herself to speak on behalf of the other girls who I hadn't even really addressed it with yet. Although Tom Schwartz admitted that he became synonymous with Sandoval's affair, that's the problem with Raquel due to his knowledge about their secret romance, he felt Ariana was holding too much against him. 
let me just be really clear here. If I had a best friend, if I had a friend, even a friend, and it was Jason's friend, and they knew, and they smiled in my face multiple times a week, you came into my house, you ate my food, you drank my drink, you swam in my pool, mm -hmm. while you know this motherfucker is having an affair, and then you're going to sit there and tell me how I should feel about you and that I'm holding your feet to the fire too much? No, you're a snake. You're a snake in the grass. You're a spineless jellyfish with a hidden agenda. Check that for the Lizzie McGuire movie. That is a dumpster fire of you, Tom Schwartz. And I love Tom Schwartz, but this is just the shittiest thing that you could possibly do. You did it, not anybody else. And imagine if somebody did that to you now, since you can't understand the perspective, if somebody did that to you and Katie was cheating on you the whole time during your marriage and she was cheating on you with, I don't know, Tom Sandoval. Would you not be allowed to be a little bit bitter? But she can't be bitter because she's successful now and she's getting a lot of opportunities. That makes no sense. Okay. Back to it. I mean, all the rage that she had pent up with Tom, she just took out on me in that moment, which I still think is absurd. Also, when people start yelling at me, my mind just shuts down. So I don't remember exactly how it played out. That was one of the first moments where I just, something about that moment just really rubbed me the wrong way. Now, as Vanderpump Rules fans obviously know, Ariana cut shorts out of her life following the reveal of Sandoval's affair. And she hasn't looked back. Him saying shit like that is exactly why I'm not friends with him, is what she said. If anyone is going to be able to speak to who I am as a person, it's not someone who I haven't spoken to since we were filming the reunion in mid-March. So that right there is the type of shit that just proves me right. No shit. I'm not queen of anything, but I will do what I want to do, which is not going on this dumb fucking trip. Now, according to Katie Maloney, she didn't understand how Ariana not wanting to go on the trip translated to her thinking she was the queen of the group. And according to Lala, she doesn't see why it would matter if Ariana did think that. I think she deserves to act like queen of the group right now. I've never, or it's never really been Ariana, and she's finally, in my opinion, standing out. Before, she was just like the cool chick with no opinion. She was very Switzerland. It was like, allow her to have this moment. She had a really fucking tough year. Let her go out and kill the game and be the queen bee for a minute. What's the fucking problem? James Kennedy also said there's a queen every year, and Ariana's the queen this year. But meanwhile, Sheena said that although there is always a queen, it's never been her. She said, it's never been me. I support the queens because they're all my friends. I've never had a good season on the show. I've never been the most liked on the show, and I've accepted it. So whoever the new queen is, I support them. They're my friends. And Ariana had a tough year. But during another segment of the Vanderpump Rules after show, Tom Schwartz said that while he does have a great reverence for the humiliation Ariana endured during Sandoval's affair... Um, he reached a breaking point with his, her behavior. At that point, I'd seen sort of her sort of becoming a little egotistical, and I'd seen little glimmers of it going to her head. I think I played it cool for the most part, but I did have to ego check her there. I think that for a short period of time, she might not have been aware of it, but I think it went to her head, and I think she became a little bit of a diva. But after then, Katie said that Tom Short sounded like Tom Sandoval amid his rant against Ariana. Sandoval said Ariana's response showed her true colors. I just want to point out, like, this does not excuse what the guy did. What the guy did was so messed up. But on a separate note, that is what I dealt with a lot behind closed doors. This is what drove the wedge between us. My intelligence and her intelligence, her point of view and my point of view were never equal. She kept it at bay more behind closed doors. It was like that. And that's more the real Ariana, I guess, is what I'm saying. True victim. Okay, guys, I want to hear what your thoughts are. Pop off in the comments, smash that like button, show some love, and let us know what you think. Love you guys. We'll see you in a little bit.